Hello, this is Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com and today we're doing our shaky cam interior review inside a 2017 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Uh, this is with the King Ranch package and the 6.7 liter uh, diesel engine. This is a big burly truck. Uh, a lot of, lot of goodness in here. Um, if you have a lot of work to do, this is definitely a good truck for it. Uh, most of the interior is similar to what you'll find in the King Ranch package in uh, any of the F-Series. So uh, with a couple of exceptions, this is basically the same as the F-150, uh, basically the same as the F-350 and so forth. Um, there are a couple of differences. Uh, I had the F-150 in the Platinum package last week and uh, I noticed that the interior in this truck is slightly larger, specifically in the back seat. Uh, not by a whole lot, but by enough that you can notice it. So um, it is a bigger truck, of course. It's a three-quarter ton, so it has a larger frame. Um, wheelbase is a little bit bigger, I believe, and uh, it stands a lot taller. But anyway, uh, looking at the interior here, uh, we start out with uh, the standard Ford layout. You have your windows and and so forth uh, over there. Uh, mirror adjustments up here. And then this right here actually extends and brings in uh, the outer mirrors for the uh, for towing. So if you have a trailer on, you can extend the mirror to see a little better. Uh, over here is your pedal light control. Down here is headlights uh, along with uh, all the stuff that goes with that, how bright and dim, um, fog lamps, etc., etc. Down there, this moves the pedals back and forth, so you can adjust those foot pedals. Uh, over here, this opens the tailgate. You can also do that from the key fob. Uh, again, this is a package option. Over here, you have uh, door locks and seat settings there. And up to the steering wheel. Uh, you have a lot of controls going on on the steering wheel, but they're fairly easy to learn, pretty intuitive. Cruise control is here. Uh, the King Ranch does not come with with adaptive cruise, um, whereas the Platinum package does. Uh, small difference, it is an option, however. Over here you have controls. So this right here controls what's happening on that screen there. These right here control what's happening on the infotainment over there. Uh, mostly this is for music, but uh, you can control a couple of other things. Here you have your uh, voice activation, telephone stuff, and mute. So you can quickly mute the radio with just hitting that button. Uh, or your phone call if you are on a phone call. Kind of a cool thing. I kind of like this. Uh, these buttons are a little large, you know, but it's cool. Um, they're made to match these, obviously. So uh, jumping over here, we have uh, lighting controls here. Uh, this does have automatic headlights um, or uh, washer wipers. I'm sorry, and then the and then the uh, brights there. Um, this does have automatic headlights and automatic brights. I'm not terribly impressed with the automatic brights. Um, they tend to kind of turn on and off for uh, arbitrary reasons. Over here, you have the shift handle. It is not as big as it probably looks on this camera screen. Um, Compared to others like, say, the Nissan, this is not nearly as large, but it's a good size, easy to grab hold of. While you're still, even while you still have a hand on the wheel, you can use your fingers to grab it and move it. Um, all right. So, looking at the instrument cluster, RPMs over there, fuel or uh, fuel mileage over there, um, speed. That's what I meant to say. Nothing to do with fuel. Speed over there. <laughs> uh, up on the top, engine heat. Uh, oil heat, or wait, oil heat, engine heat, um, fuel level, and turbo uh, turbo output. So it is a turbocharged diesel engine. So you do need to know those things. Down here, I have it on the trip. So I'm looking at the trip. You can see I put 432 miles on it, average 13 and a half miles a gallon. Um, I have 134 miles worth of fuel left, and I have put a total of almost 12 hours and 40 minutes on this engine. Uh, flipping through these, you can go, uh, so here, my view, this is uh, where you can sort of, uh, sort of uh, um, configure it to how you want it to be. Uh, trip and fuel here, so you can see a lot of things uh, that are available on that. 
here you have the truck information. Um, you can look at tire pressure. You can look at um, all kinds of things, uh, engine information, whatever you want. Over here you have a uh, towing status. This is useful when you are pulling a fairly heavy load. It uh, gives you some information about what's going on. You can also do your trailer light check. Uh, check the tire pressure on the trailer if the trailer is equipped uh, to send that through the uh, plug and etc. Over here you have off-road status. You see it defaults to this screen. Uh, this is about all you can see in your off-road, but it's, it's useful if you do do off-road. Um, this has a high center of gravity, so you're not going to be doing as much of the tilt and yaw as you would in something a little smaller, of course. But uh, this might be useful if you are uh, bouncing through the cattle pasture and have to go down through a ravine and up the other side or something. Over here you have uh, all the nannies, so you can turn a lot of things on and off with this. Uh, really useful because sometimes you just don't need some of these things uh, or you get maybe you don't like the lane keeping or something so you can turn that all you can turn that on and off using that right there again I've been leaving it on the trip uh, because I kinda like the uh, the, the output um, so when you flip through those you just I was just using these to go back and forth and up and down obviously and then select right there so that's the uh, gauges which are very useful in a truck like this. You do need you do need a lot of that information depending on what you're doing. When you are in tow mode, this is the tow haul mode right here. So it toggles it on and off. And it has integrated brake, uh, trailer brake controls down here. So uh, squeeze for that and settings here. Uh, the usual Ford four wheel drive. So you have um, the two high, four high, four low. Um, this does not have the four automatic, which you will find in some others such as the uh, F-150, um, but it is a very capable off-road package. Push button start, obviously. This has the updated SYNC 3 system in it. Uh, you can't see a lot because of the reflection, but um, I'll try to maybe get an angle. It's probably not going to work. But anyway, it is the updated Ford SYNC 3 system, uh, and this is has just about everything you can ask for on it. Um, it connects to your home Wi-Fi to do updates to the system uh, and a lot of other things you can do with this. Buttons across the top. Up here you have your parking sensors. You can turn those off uh, or trailer part. Uh, no, wait. What the hell is that? Push it. Find out. <laughs> That's a little joke, see? Anyway, uh, here's your traction control. Here is your, uh, uh, you know, I am really not actually sure what that is anyway uh duke's lights here hill descent there uh lane keeping assist there it doesn't actually physically keep you in the lane but it does beep at you if you go out of the lane and vibrates the steering wheel ford thing uh cameras here so you can turn on the cameras look at what's around the truck um kind of useful actually if you're trying to park in a tight space but you're not necessarily reversing into it i've used it a lot in my carport uh down here you have your uh, radio and stuff, um, pretty simple, straightforward. I like the big beefy knobs, really easy to grab hold of and use. Lots of tactile uh, feedback when you're using them. Uh, they click a little, they have the ridges so you can feel them, all that. Same with these knobs down here for climate control. Climate control is pretty straightforward. Ford learned a little bit from Volvo and changed to this mode man looking thing, which is much more intuitive because then you can go, oh yeah, I don't want blowing on my face, I'll turn that off, whatever. Uh, automatic, of course, this has dual climate in it, so you can set it on either side. Down at the bottom, you have the seat coolers, bun warmers, fan setting, and then the passenger side seat and seat uh, warmers coolers. This right here is kind of like your sink box, is what Ford likes to call it, I think. Um, nice wooden cover, by the way, actual wood. Opening that up, what you have is your USB plugs, a nice uh, padded and uh, rubberized uh, surface to throw a phone or something in. Here you have uh, more, more storage, which is removable to get a little bit deeper. So you can have the tray, you can even drop something in there. You could fit an iPad or anything in there, or iPod or whatever in there, and cover it with this, and nobody would know it was in there. Over here you have your, um, your uh, drink holders. Good size, you can fit a lot in there, uh, and you can slide that over and double the number of drink holders, which is a very cool feature. Um, use that a couple of times. 
in here you have your storage box pops open big uh, tray and then you can do that and file folders will swing across there blah 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 i kept a lot of extra i kept like a six pack of extra water in there a few others and you can fit a lot of stuff in there drink holders for the back there's also drink holders in that seat right there uh, when that folds down the rear seats are very comfortable this includes heated uh, rear seats on the outboard positions very nice really good leather in here i love the leather i love the uh the wood inlay that they didn't go overboard with i kind of like the uh the the uh brushed nickel thing they have going with the uh with the plastic uh accents just a very very nice looking setup you can see you have a glove box so a euro style glove box and a regular uh american glove box uh, storage up here, lots of switches. This comes with X with the uh, aux switches already wired and set up. So all you have to do is put on your lights and run them down to the, uh, down to the fuse box and you're ready to go. Lots of great stuff. Auto sliding rear. Uh, it's got the panoramic roof. You probably can't really see it very well in here. I'll just flip the camera around, and make you sick. How's that? But, uh, a lot of good stuff in this truck. Ford has done a very good job setting it up. I really like the way this truck is is built. Um, I like the uh, automatic uh, fold out and fold up steps that come with the King Ranch. Uh, just a lot of really good stuff in here. Very good truck for somebody who spends a lot of time in their pickup, but needs to be able to work with it. This is a pretty good package right here. Um, it'll run you a little bit but uh, pickup trucks are getting very expensive. So somebody who would buy a uh, Ford F-150 at in the $65,000 range would not blink an eye at spending 70 grand on this particular truck uh, in, an, in a three quarter ton package. So um, I know that sounds like a lot of money, but people are spending it on these trucks and uh, they're getting a lot of work out of them uh, by doing so. so so again, this has been Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com sitting in a 2017 Ford F-250 Super Duty with the King Ranch package and the 6.7 liter diesel engine. That's all we've got. So talk to you again soon.